tents lining the county courthouse lawn here in the small town of San Luis Obispo, part of a national movement that has faced recent setbacks. But the people here say they're not going anywhere and they're energized to keep going. This, this is a long process. We've been here for 30 days. This movement is going to be going on for years. There may not be people occupying the courthouse here, but the whole energy that started, there's just the spark. This is the spark. And once the ball's rolling, man, it's going to keep rolling. And change is going to happen. It's going to come. But this is just step one. San Luis Obispo doesn't really have an established business district. Like we're all like, you know, financial brokerages are and everything like that. So we're here and this is where the public would see us. And now we're just taking back our freedom of speech and our freedom of assembly because that has been trampled on way too long in this country. When people start getting vocal, they get quieted. They're just called the lunatic fringe. So what do you say to people who will call you lazy or entitled or socialist or just generally somebody who's trying to milk off the system? Well, I'm really, that's just ignorance. I mean, that's just labeling and just, you know, that's all it is. I mean, I'm, we're not here asking for handouts. I mean, I've never felt like, you know, that, I, that the government owes me something, that anybody owes me anything, you know. And that's a big misconception that people need to like get out of their heads about this. We're not asking for handouts. We're asking for change. Uh, there is a few locals that drive by, and they'll drive by, and they'll like, you know, yell, roll down the window, and they'll be like, "Oh, good job," or some stupid thing, or something like that. But um, it's I've, I've noticed it's like the same people. Like, it, it must be like this must be on their way to work or something. Cause like this one morning, or in the mornings, there's this guy that drives by in a truck, and it's always people in trucks. Not to judge, but it's always people in trucks. That's just an observation, not a judgment. But, um, <laughs> and they'll drive by and they'll be like, ah, and they yell out the window. We're just like, yeah, awesome. The Occupy Wall Street out in New York has made it very clear that they're not gonna set out a list of demands because then from there it's like, well, we'll give them what they want and they'll shut up. And we have no intention of shutting up quite yet. I believe it's day 29, if I'm not mistaken. And um, the whole Occupy movement, this is, uh, today's the 60th day, it's a two month anniversary of the entire movement as a whole. I've been here since day six, and so I've been here 23 days. Um, I mean, it's, it's really, it's really not bad. Like, you know, I, I get my time, like, minutes, you know, I wake up and I come out and go out. There's, you know, a bunch of people here doing their thing, making signs and all that kind of stuff, and, uh, it's really not bad. I mean, the the biggest, I mean, the the most, the biggest hassle would be the bathroom thing. Like that's the biggest hassle. That's the only real hassle. It's not too bad. Like we've all kind of figured out like places we can go and stuff. Like um, there's some restaurants and stuff that are around that are open until like 2 a.m. The only time it's ever an issue is if you like come up in the middle of the night. And there's like nowhere to go around or anything. We've got like a couple like camp toilets. If there's like a big issue in the middle of the night or something like that. <laughs> Who gets to clean that? What? No, no, no. It, okay, it's not like it's not like a porta potty. It's like a, a little plastic thing, and then there's like a bag in it. Right. And then you just like throw the bag away. Okay. But, what What about uh, showering and bathing and brushing teeth? Well, um, that's kind of like I mean, everyone kind of like figures that out. Like you know, there's there's people like you know, it doesn't take too long to shower or something like that. You know, you can go. There's there's people. Um, that are involved, that are here to help, that are willing to let people shower. Uh, the police issue, they have not really harassed us really at all. And they gave us a list of things, and like the list of things had nothing to actually do with like our first amendment or anything. It was just in regards to health and sanitary issues. And we've met all of those, and they haven't, they haven't really addressed us at all. If anything, we're just battling a policy, and the first amendment should trump a policy any day of the week.